These are Lala's babies, now 10 days old. Beautiful, beautiful colors from dark red to Cafe Lay. Now this Cafe Lay, that's more of a rare coloring. Uh, just kind of makes them look like they have a shinier coat. You can see the four with the Cafe Lay. There's some very dark Cafe Lay. So Cafe Lay kind of more of a chocolatey color, and the others are golden red. So about half glitter here is this shiny Cafe Lay color, and half is a dark golden red. It might be a little chilly in here. I did turn on the air and turn that off. There is still a I took them away from their mom so we could get the video and the pictures today and uh, you know uh, their floor in the maternity ward is 98 degrees so these uh, puppies their body temperature should be about 102 to 103 so uh, their body temperature runs a lot hotter warmer than what the humans do so uh, their floor is quite warm because puppies cannot um, contain their own body heat, conserve it until they're like three weeks old. So they have to be kept on a heating pad until they're three weeks old. That's why we have some strong puppies. So they have to stay with mom 24 seven on that heating pad. And so mom completely takes care of them. She feeds them, she cleans them. And she's doing a good job of keeping her babies clean. So let's go through some, so oh, this is a little lady here. Look at the lady, she's dark red. Little lady. So, uh, and then this aqua Cafe LA color. It's dark, but it's still Cafe LA. You know, it's kind of dark at the roots and then it gets this frosting on the tips. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's in the brown family. So, uh, not many people can make that color because both sides of the family tree must have carry that gene. So uh, Lala carries it and uh, Chewbacca does. And Arnoa, that's how we've gotten this color developed. It's usually the first color to be picked too when somebody sees it in person because it's hard to you know, see in a picture because it makes them look lighter, but then uh, they're really not. I mean, their roots are still dark, and then they get these frosted tips. So that's the brown family. And then not many people will breed with a brown poodle. And I tried it once too, but you end up with a lot of black puppies. And uh, I like more of the golden colors and the party colors. So we are lucky here to have all these because look at this very, very dark cafe lay. With the red on, red ribbon is Lyle. So this one's Lyle. There's Lyle. Black ribbon's Lincoln. Oh my gosh, Lincoln, look at that. 10 days old, are those eyes peeking out yet? And this is the lime, very dark, got some curl to it. That's Lakin. It's a curly baby. And then this aqua one, Logan. It's Cafe LA. Hi, Logan. Red is Lyle. It's orange, very dark. London, very pretty girl. Got a little curl to you too, and that little pudgy nose. And the pink. Lippy! That's your grandmother's name. Yeah. Too adorable. You got some curl to you too. It's kind of wavy to shaggy. Not curly curly, just enough curl to make their coat stand up more and make them look fluffy. And then this one's just wavy, so that's the lady. Ooh, that's a slick, soft coat. It's another thing about this Cafe Lay family, very soft. It makes their coat so soft. I've been blessed with Chewbacca and Noah here and Is this one if we didn't get to it? 
yellow. That's a Lottie. That's a girl. Kind of got a little curl to you too. Dark red. So as the puppies get older and get more active, you know, we'll be able to get some better videos. Right now they're still just laying there sleeping. The life of a puppy. Eat, sleep, repeat.